Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to the new call sign lookup app that I've written. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I gotta give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So you might be asking yourself why we even need a call sign lookup app like this. Why don't we just use the web browser and head over to qrz.com and log in and look up the call sign. Well, that works perfectly well. The one issue I had with that was the amount of resources that Chromium, which is the web browser on the Raspberry Pi, consumes when it's running. There's just no reason to consume that much resource when all we need to do is look up a call sign. So let me give you a quick example here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Chromium real quick. And you notice how high the CPU rises when this is open and running. Now we'll fluctuate, but as soon as we start navigating to a particular website, you'll see that the resource, the CPU usage, jumps way up again. And this is just a crazy amount of resource to dedicate just to look up a call sign. So I felt there was a better way. So let's go ahead and close this out and we'll head over to the terminal. Now let's go grab the link that we're going to need to download this and get it installed. So I'm going to head over to my GitHub site and that's github.com forward slash km4ack. Once we're on the GitHub site, let's come over to the PyScripts. And then let's scroll down to where we find the git call script that I've written. Let's go ahead and click on that script. Once we're in here, we've got one final step, and that's just to click the raw button right here. After you've clicked on the raw button, let's head right up to the top here in the address bar, and let's go ahead and copy that address. Now, back on the Pi, I'm going to assume you're running the build a Pi script. I can show you another way to do this if you're not, though. But if you are running the build a Pi script, let's just move into our bin directory with cd space bin. Let's use our wget command and paste in that link that we just copied. We'll press return. It only takes a second to get downloaded. The next command we need to run is chmod plus x git call. And that takes care of it. Now, with the build a pie script, you can simply run git call from anywhere on your command line, and that'll pull up the application. Now, if you're not running my build a pie script, then you can just simply put this inside your home directory. So if we just use cd and enter, that verifies that we're in our home directory. And again, we can use the wget command and paste in that link that we just copied. Same thing, you'll need to run the chmod plus x git call to make that script executable. And now from inside your home directory, you can run dot forward slash git call. And that'll go ahead and bring the application up. Now, for those of you running the build a Pi script, if you want to generate a shortcut for your desktop, we can run ln space hyphen sf space. We'll give it the tilde forward slash bin forward slash git call. We'll give it a space right there. Let's give it the tilde key or the tilde sign again forward slash desktop forward slash get call. Go ahead and hit return. Now if we minimize that terminal window, we should find a get call link on our desktop. If we double click it, we can just use execute to bring the application up. Now it's super simple. Once it's up, uh, should be pretty self-explanatory. You can type a call sign here. If it's a USA call sign, you leave the box checked. I'm having to use two different resources to look up call signs, so that's why you check it for uh, USA calls and you don't for international calls. And then if we click look up another, this time let's look up M0IAX 
and we'll uncheck that because I know that Mark is not in the US. If we look that up, then we'll get Mark's information there on the screen. All right, guys, I hope you find this helpful. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.